clinical examination of the hamstring function. The hamstring muscles predominantly flex the knee and assists in extension of the hips. How do you examine the hamstring function? You put the patient prone so the hips and the lower extremities can hang freely from the edge of the table, as you can see here in this diagram. Assess if the patient is able to flex the knees, and if the patient can do that against gravity and against resistance. Palpate on the medial side to see if there is contraction or activity of the semitendinosus and semimembranosus, and palpate laterally to see if there is any activity of the biceps femoris. There are three hamstring muscles, the biceps femoris, the long head that arises from the ischium and is inserted into the fibular head. The short head of the biceps arises from the femur and is inserted with the long head of the biceps laterally on the fibula. Another hamstring muscle is the semitendinosus, which have a common origin with the biceps femoris, then is separated from the biceps femoris as it descends medially and as the biceps long head descends laterally. Then the semimembranosus, it has its own origin from the ischial tuberosity and it goes medially to be inserted on the proximal tibia medially next to the insertion of the semitendinosus. All hamstring muscles are supplied by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve except the short head of the biceps which is supplied by the common perineal nerve. Hamstring muscle function can be affected and should be assessed if there is an injury to the hamstring muscle or tendon itself as in injuries to the origin of the hamstring or if the sciatic nerve is affected, tibial or common perineal division. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.